Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, across the nation, around the world, wherever you may be. This is Ty Lord Stevenson with my 2019 gaming goals. So, 2018, I planned on beating 10 to 20 games. I think I beat around 10 in my free time. Um, this year, I've got a list of games that I'm going to try to work on for 2019. I don't know if I'm going to get to all of them. Some of them might drop off, others might pop in. I might check at the end of the year to see how consistent I was with these goals. I'll probably forget what they are in a couple months. I'm going to try not to buy newer games. I usually don't buy new games unless it's something I really want. I already have Shinmu 3 pre-ordered, so that's going down this year. Um, I'm going to get Resident Evil 2 Remake no matter what. And that's going to happen this year. I'm going to try to beat those two. But those are the only brand new games coming out in 2019 right now that I can think of that I'm actually going to try to play through and beat because I have a huge backlog that I've been working on and I need to finish those first. I'll get to those right now. Uh, first one I want to complete in 2019 is uh, Yeez 8 for my uh, PlayStation Vita. I started this, I played it for maybe five to seven hours. And then I ended up getting Shin Mu HD collection, so I got distracted. But I was having a lot of fun with this. This is a fast-paced role-playing game, sort of a hack and slash, open-world exploration uh, role-playing game. It has a cute little plot, like you're uh, you're on a big luxury uh, ocean liner that shipwrecks, and you have to gather up all the survivors and start the little uh, community on this abandoned island. Uh, really fast pace, so hack and slash, it's not that turn battle stuff. Um, if you're turned off by role playing games like the turn battle, random encounter stuff, uh, try this one. Um, I've never played any Yeez games. This one was recommended to me by uh, uh, DGC and Mikel Casanova. I know it's available on PS4 and Switch as well. I have it on Vita. So I gotta get around to this one. Another one I uh, I ordered from Japan is uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2 for Vita. Um, I played this for a few hours. I, I need to complete it though. I don't know if I'm going to complete it on this or find another copy on a system that actually runs it good. This thing is really choppy and laggy. From what I played it's decent but it hasn't really caught my attention like other Resident Evils. I mean it, it's pretty cool though. It, uh, a lot of zombies, a lot of creatures, uh, returning characters from the original series that I like. Uh, but but I, I, I really need to finish this. I finished the first one and loved it on Nintendo 3DS. But I haven't gotten around to completing this one. I want to do that in 2019. Uh, Final Fantasy XV, another good hack and slash role playing game. No turn battle stuff. I really love uh, what I played so far on this game. I played it maybe uh, 10 hours or so. I got my guys up to level 17. Uh, this is a really fun adventure game. It uh, kind of feels like a, a little American road trip. Most of these games are like fantasy combined with Middle Ages or European Middle Ages. Or uh, uh, This one uh, it reminds me of the United States like a road trip. It, it looks like you're driving through America and all of a sudden you'll see a big monster or, uh, or creatures running around. The, I really love the look and feel of this game. Like you'll just be driving along from uh, going on your quest and you'll stop at like a truck stop or a rest stop. It looks a lot like how a truck stop or a rest stop would look in real life. Kind of kind of old school Americana looking. Um, like little diners and whatnot. It really has a cool look. So, so you can be on your mission, you pull off the road Usually there's like an airship or a spaceship you go around on Final Fantasies. This one has a car, like four bros in a car. You, you pull off at a rest stop and from there there's all kinds of little characters around there with like little mini quests. So you can just go around and, and do little quests uh, around uh, these little truck stops and whatever. I think it's really cool. And then you get back to your mission, you drive, drive along on the road. Anyway, blah blah blah. Another one I gotta finish is Yakuza Zero. Um, this is another one uh, recommended by DGC and Mikhail Casanova. 
uh, uh, I've, I've heard really good things about these games. I'm a fan of Shin Mu, and from what I played so far, it, it has hints of Shin Mu in it. It's a totally different type of game. Uh, really fun beat em up style game. I would say it sort of feels like a role playing game beat em up style in the city, which I really like. I played this a few hours, five hours or so. Uh, it's really fun so far. I need to get back to it and beat it this year. Uh, Legacy of Kane's Soul Reaver, I finally got on PlayStation uh, 1. Um, mainly gaming's been hyping these up. I've been really wanting to play them. I played this for a couple hours so far um, over my Christmas break, and I've enjoyed what I've played. I think this game is really ahead of its time. Uh, the, these old uh, polygonal, uh, jaggy PlayStation 1 games usually don't hold up, but this one feels uh, really ahead of its time. Of course, you don't have the camera control, so it can get kind of frustrating, but uh, I was assuming it would have a lot of backtracking and puzzles. But from what I played so far, it's constantly moving forward. You do a little puzzle, you fight some people. I I've really been enjoying it. I really love the what people, what developers were able to pull off with these old uh, systems. Uh, Shadows of the Damned. I need to beat that one this year. I started this one a few months ago. Maybe played a few hours, then got distracted with something else. Um, this is like Resident Evil 4 if uh, Robert Rodriguez directed it. R really cool game uh, so far what I played. Uh, Deadly Premonition. This is another one I've been hearing good stuff about. Uh, Colton West did a review on it. It really made me want to play it. I like Silent Hill 2 and uh, Shinmu and Resident Evil 4 and this seems to be a hybrid of, of those three games. Uh, these two are on Xbox 360. Oh, and here's a recommendation I got from uh, Radar Cannon. I just got this for Christmas for my wife, Yakuza Dead Souls. This looks like Resident Evil uh, 4 or 5 done by Sega. So it looks really cool to me. Uh, from what I've seen of the gameplay from Radar Cannon, it looks really fun. My buddy Segalacious from the Virtua Brothers has been hyping this game up too human for the Xbox 360. This is a really cheap game, really inexpensive. He actually gave me this game though, which is nice. He mailed it to me. He's been hyping it up. Uh, this is a uh, sort of a dungeon crawler RPG hack and slash. I think it was in development for many years over several systems. It finally ended up on Xbox 360. I played this for uh, maybe three to five hours. Um, it takes a little bit getting used to with the camera control, but after you get it down, it's really fun. But I have to get back to this one. I, I might as well just start over with it because I don't remember at what point I was at in the game. Um, a gift from uh, the Bad Company Gaming, a Snatcher for Sega CD. This is a repro, but uh, I'm happy with what I can get. This is a game that, that always intrigued me. Sort of looks like a, like a digital novel or choose your own adventure point-and-click type game. I always hear really great things about it, really inspired by uh, movies like The Terminator and Blade Runner, because that's all Hideo Kojima does is rip off other people uh, very well though, in a good way. And then of course, a game I started on early in 2018, but uh, it was part of the backlog challenge I was in, but then I couldn't complete it. I was, I was on this game uh, I played it for a few hours and it was amazing. Uh, Fantasy Star 4. I played it on my uh, Sonic's Ultimate Collection for PS3. And originally it was on Sega Genesis, of course. Uh, so I started that game, really enjoyed it. It was, it was, uh, from what I played of it, it was just so much better than Fantasy Star 2, which I enjoyed uh, Fantasy Star 2, but this is like, uh, just grabs you and pulls you in right away. Really fast-paced uh, game, and I picked up this uh, strategy guide at a yard sale for a dollar. So now I have the strategy guide for it. So I'm hoping I'll, I'll be able to get through uh, Fantasy Star 4 really well. I don't know if I'm going to play it on my PS3. I have the new uh, Sega Genesis Collection on PS4, so I might just do it on that. 
or I might even get it on Switch. I, I'm finding I have a lot more time to play video games portably on my Switch, having a family and a job and everything. So I'm really enjoying, um, I can sneak a little playing session in with a Nintendo Switch a lot more than I can on the television set, which is occupied by my family quite a bit. Okay, the last one I really want to do this year is the uh, Mario RPG, which I've never played. I was never big into RPGs, but I've always been a big Mario fan. At least through Super Nintendo. I never really got into Mario 64 and beyond. Mario 1, 2, 3, Mario World, those are four of my favorite games ever made. But I was never quite into RPGs. Recently I've been getting into them with a lot of influences from uh, from friends, uh, bad influences. But uh, anyway, I want to uh, get through Mario RPG on here. I'm either going to play it on my uh, Super Nintendo Classic or on my uh, Retro Pie, one or the other. I don't have the cartridge for it. So that's the last game I want to uh, complete this year. And then of course Shinmu 3 and Resident Evil 2 Remake. I gotta play through those. I gotta find time to do that. So that's it for my gaming goals of 2019. Um, I got this idea from CM Retro among others. That's the first one that pops to mind because I just watched the video. But I'd be interested in other people what they have to, uh, what their gaming goals are for, for 2018. Life goals, maybe. I, I need to get back to the gym. I was doing really good with my health. Uh, last couple of weeks I've been on vacation, so I've been uh, grubbing a lot. I've been living it up the last couple of weeks, um, uh, grubbing and uh, playing video games. I haven't been to the gym at all, so I need to start back on track, going to the gym every night after work. Maybe see if I can uh, uh, run farther, run faster, maybe lift a little bit heavier weight. Just got a promotion at my job. I start getting a pay raise when I go back to work. So the year's starting off good for me. So anyway, sorry to let that drag on so long. Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, let me know if you see anything in here that you want to talk about uh, in the comments. Uh, take care. Bye!